MJ from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Now, unfortunately, the last video didn't hit 50,000 likes, but you know what? That's okay. The show must go on. We still got to do class trial number three. Whoever killed those people, it's either there's two killers or somebody caught two bodies. We're going to start the third class trial right now, and we're going to try to figure out who did it because I honestly have no clue. So if you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. So let's just say that there was two separate killers. That means whoever killed the second person, which is Tank go gets away with that kill and then we only have to try to find the black in for angie's murder but i think with this game i think that there's only one murderer because they wouldn't have somebody else get away with this scot free right but they would get this monokuma bulge in my face for the third straight time god damn that thing big and juicy wait what it would appear we have all gathered but it seems there are less and less of us oh Less friends made it that much harder to solve mystery. Don't worry. Well, don't worry. I'm sure you've gotten a little smarter by now, Gonta. Mm. Yeah, Gonta do his best to help. Hmm. I'd want you to graduate from super idiot level to at least Kaito idiot level. What? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Are you okay? Uh, more importantly, are you okay, Kaito? Ah. Yeah, I'm feeling better now. But wow, Maki Roll sure does pack a punch. I don't know. It's your fault. You don't need to worry about our dwindling numbers. Only dipshits have died so far. I know it's a tall order, but try to use your brains this time so I don't have to use mine. These oh, golden yeah. brain cells of mine are a gift to the entire world. Unacceptable. It's as though every time you open your mouth, you become less likable. Rest in peace. Atua, please. Please lend us your power. I thought after Angie died, we'd have no more of this Atua nonsense. But, but here we are. It may be difficult for us to rely on Atua. Considering what happened to Angie, whom Atua loved most of all. Well, yeah. She shouldn't have relied on Atua in the first place. High five, Kokichi. But seriously, it's kind of funny seeing a robot believe in God, especially Atua. I also. So what? Robots can believe in God? Indeed. Actually, before I even met Angie, I had a similar experience. Hearing voices, I mean. <laughs> you might call it an inner voice. It tells me what to do whenever I'm in trouble. Wait a minute. How long are you going to say that for? Atua and Ghost don't matter right now. Jeez. Yeah, the trial this time is going to be rough. We got caught in Monokuma's trap. Huh? His trap? That's right. He probably made the fourth floor so scary on purpose to prevent me from investigating. Oh, right already. No, he didn't. Yeah, yeah, you're just a pussy. Yeah, there's no way. Hey, so... Shuichi, say something. Huh? What should I say? That you a little bitch, Kaito? I have nothing to say. Other than, to be honest, I'd be in Kaito's situation. I do not mess with ghosts. I don't like any of that stuff. Ghosts, people being possessed... Just any type of haunting, that's one thing that's like a big no-no for me. Like, anytime there's a game that has to do with, like, hauntings or ghosts, they freak me out just a little bit more. I have no idea why. Like, I don't have any crazy experience that I can tell you about with ghosts. As usual, we walk toward the elevator in silence. Really? What do you mean, as usual? Seems like these people can never shut up. As soon as we remaining survivors step the board, the doors close. Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, what does he mean as usual? I feel like they're always yapping. They're always talking. They're like, nye, 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 nye. And nye, nye. we descended. Perhaps because there were fewer of us, the elevator seemed to move faster. And so we fell faster and faster downward into the black. The elevator stopped. And just like always, the doors parted slowly. The light that shines on us from the other side, the bright light for our future. Or is it? It's not, I promise you. Sorry, everyone. I don't think I'm going to be much help this time. When is he ever a help? Because of Monokuma's disruptions, I couldn't do a thorough investigation. I can tell Monokuma is overcompensating to hide his self-consciousness. Kaito, you're making me make this face. You proud of yourself? Time. Spend less time do, fixing man. your hair. I smell the bull right off his lips. Investigating. Right Space off his hot-ass breath. Shut up! I don't need to hear some comedy act from you two weirdos. Who did it? Who Maybe you did Angie it. Tenko? I'm hoping. I'm praying to a two that you did it. Do not let your like emotions you. hasten your judgment. There may be two killers. I mean, if I had to point the finger, though, if I had to point one finger for Angie and one finger for Tenko, they'd go straight to Kori Kyo Kenshin. I feel like nobody else could have done it but him. But I hope I'm wrong. Because so, I kind of like Kori Kenshin Kyo. And I like saying Kori Kenshin Kyo. One of us here. Kori Kenshin Kyo. Kori Kenshin Kyo. Hmm? What do you mean? What if it was Gonta? Yo, no. The Gonta way too big. He way too big to fit under the planks. Maybe our resurrected transfer student dragged Angie and Tenko into the grave. Stop. Stop. Stop, it. Stop making stuff up. 
Say something, Shuichi. It'll be a mess if this keeps going on. Is it even possible for a revived corpse to be the culprit? Well, in the interest of being thorough, I should clear things up here. Okay, let's do it. We got the truth bullish chick chucks. Everybody got a chick chuck, you know? Chick chick! Clack, 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 clack! That's what we're doing? All right, Monica up out three, this forehead injury, a fidgies hung upside down, Necronomicon. What's Necronomicon again? Look, it says burn this Necronomicon to ashes, but the book is still fully intact. I'm pretty sure that means the ritual didn't work. So, what the heck? What do you mean, no? We got Necronomicon locked in. did work? No. No. Who was resurrected? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Angie did say she was going to bring Rantaro back. Yeah, why? You yes. should have brought back Kurumi. Rantaro or Kaede. Rantaro was the but dumbest choice. The bro was the ultimate Rantaro. nobody. The ultimate Please, has been, bro. Stop it. Okay, I think I know what it is. When Gonta said, did it work? We chick chick this the Necronomicon the bullet, right? Deceased. Let me see. Can I one take J this? Can I shoot 100% from the field? Classmates. I'm gonna do it, everybody. I'm gonna do it. Watch, 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 watch. Kaito, shut up, dude. You're most of the no. Oh, there, here you go. We do this right here. One, two, three, and no! Oh God! I'm about to shoot 100% from the field, baby. I'm about to shoot 100% from the field, baby. Blah! Boom! 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 Man, I'm locked in, everybody. I'm feeling good about myself right now. Succeeded. Yeah, because we were supposed to burn the book, but the book According to the is still intact. Monokuma showed us. You have to burn the Necronomicon in the ritual. High five, everybody. You know what? Bro fist. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shout out my guy, PewDiePie. That is he. After preparing the effigy, burn this Necronomicon to ashes. Use caution. Be mindful of carbon monoxide poisoning. Sprinkle the ashes on the effigy and repeat the name of the deceased three times. If Angie's ritual had succeeded, the book would have been gone. Exactly. So she must have been killed before the ritual was complete, since the book was still intact. Then... Going to think Rantaro probably not culprit. Oh, I guess you're right. Well, duh. There's no way a dead person could resurrect. Now hold on a second. I can't let that comment stand. Por qué? Sure, everybody knows that you can't bring the dead back to life. But it's easy at the Ultimate Academy. As long as you use the Necronomicon. What are you talking about? There's no way that's possible. But it's true. I never lie about motives. Is that true, everybody? Does Monokuma never lie about motives? Daddy said so, so he can't be wrong. Huh. Raising the dead is totally possible. Monokuma is a pretty good BSer, though. Man, I can't believe you guys wasted such a perfectly good motive. You should have let me use it to bring Monodum back to life. <laughs> Monodum is still alive, though. I know, I was gonna say, did I get my monos mixed up? Because I could have sworn Monodum is the robot guy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wouldn't waste a resurrection on Monodum's corpse. I'm pretty sure he's gonna die next, right? I like him, though. Oh, oh yeah, that silence so is deadly. Resurrecting the dead was actually possible this whole time? Like, Monodum is silent but deadly, like a loose butthole fart. There's no way it's possible! There's no way that could happen, idiots. Yeah, you Monokuma idiots. Is trying to confuse us. Let's hurry up and find out who the Blackened is. I have if no clue. If our transfer student isn't Might be Corey Kenshin Kyo. Then blame falls to one of us. Who? Who did it? Praying it's her, though. Praying to a Tua. A Step Tua, aside, Half-Pint. I'll handle this. Don't you want to have uh, Himiko with you and Angie and Tenko? On, I don't know about Tenko, but I'm pretty fucking sure Keo murdered Angie. What? Why? Don't play dumb with me, creep show. I already know what happened. Okay. Well, she knows what happened. So can we wrap this up and then Cory Kenshin Keo's the blackened? I guess not. Art Lab's front door, Art Lab's used a back door. To kill Angie. Kokichi's lock picking, Sumugi's account. And it was account. found in Keo's research lab. Hold on. What's Sumugi's account? Angie had locked herself in the Ultimate Artist Lab since yesterday, working on the ritual. She would not unlock the door unless someone from the student council asked her to. The student council members were Gonta, Kibo, Himiko, Tenko, and Samugi. Okay, I think that's Which it. Which makes you, Kyo, automatically suspicious. Watch this. But anyone I never miss. Katana, you see? So that rusty katana was the murder weapon. 
You were the only one who cared about that thing, Kyo. I did not care about some katana. This might not be the bullet. Just admit it, you shit-eating worm. Yeah. <laughs> you went to the classroom, broke in. Broke in. And murdered the fuck out of Angie. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's not Sumugi's account. Alright, put that tongue back in your mouth. Hold up, is Cory Kenshin Kyo really the culprit? Does that story fit the facts of the case? We should think about it from the beginning. The culprit used a katana to kill Angie. Okay, hold on. Let me see Art Lab's front door. This door has a cylindrical lock. Monodam swallowed the only key, so it can only be locked and unlocked from inside the lab. Before Angie's body was found, the door was locked, but Kokichi opened it by picking the lock. Right here? What? Kokichi's lock picking. What's that? Kokichi can lock and unlock the front door of the ultimate artist lab with his lock picking skills. Maybe it's Samugi's account, which is my first choice. Wow. That was That's actually wrong. my first choice. And I didn't trust myself. I'm like Shuichi right now. I have no confidence about my answers. Shuichi's rubbing no, off on me, dude. would not have been able to enter Angie's lab. Isn't that right, Tsumugi? Yeah. Before Angie locked herself up in her research lab. Yeah, tell us, Tsumugi. She said she wasn't going to open up for anyone but student council members. And Kyo is not a member. She wouldn't have opened the door for him. Nope. Kyo couldn't have killed Angie even if he wanted to. Uh huh. Angie said, "Stranger danger." When Cory Kenshin no and Kyo knocked on the door. I had her in the first place. So whoever killed Angie must have been one of the student council members, yeah? Uh, Maybe. I was doing a bit to lead you to the right answer. Can't believe you actually got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. how clever! You can just ignore her, Gonta. The remaining student council members are Gonta, Kibo. Samugi and Himiko. Hmm. Well, it can't be Himiko. She was besties with Angie. I trust their friendship. You guys do too, <laughs> right? I, I started yeah, to like Kokichi a lot. Because I'm like, he's lying about everything, right? So you lied about Can that too? Can trust their friendship so readily? Starting to like the little guy. Obviously. Let's believe in them. That trims our list of suspects down to three. Gonta, Samugi, and Kibo. Yep, yep. The culprit is one of those three people. You mean one of those two people. Because a robot ain't people, Jack. I will let that remark slide. Anyway, aren't these accusations just a tad too hasty? What else? The culprit should confess already. Gonta, Keyboy, or Samugi. Well... What if it's Gonta? I'll be no, sad. No, not Gonta. Gonta would never kill Angie. Oh, I believe yeah. ya. Gonta's a gentleman. You shouldn't suspect either of us. Hey, stick up for me, too. Gonta definitely not hurt anyone. Torture Gonta if you don't believe. What are we gonna do? Shock your nipples? Be a bit too far, but Shock Gonta your big ass Tarzani nipples? And I'm not the culprit either. Gonta, I'm not, not, the culprit. Culprit. not the culprit. Okay, 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 okay. All right. I don't know if I believe any of you, but hopefully it's Sumugi. I don't know. She's not that interesting to me. She's kind of bland. She's kind of bland like most of her cosplays. Just kidding, I've never seen her cosplays. Okay, hold on, everybody. Hey, 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 everybody, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody relax. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This shit's overwhelming to me. Jesus, bro. All right, wait, wait, um, wait, hold on. Guys, wait, okay. Hey, uh, uh, excuse me, Calm. pardon me. Uh, uh, robopho robophobic, what in the world? Can, can we get that down? There were several suspicious statements, but one is obviously inconsistent. I'll listen carefully, sort the statements in my head, and find the answer. Uh, so the so lock picking, Necronomicon, Samugi's Surely account, Art Lab's back door. Okay. Uh, that's that's totally impossible. Impossible. Oh boy. A dead chick can't be the Right, 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 right. Yes! I heard it! Yes! No, it wasn't just student council members that could have opened that lab door. I feel good whenever I can get the answer to those ones right because that really is overwhelming to me. Hmm. What was it you said earlier so about Kyo opening the door, focus. Shuichi? Unless you're a student council member, you can't enter Angie's lab, right? I was referring to Kyo. He couldn't have done it, but you could have. Uh oh, bad boy. The classroom lock by picking it. 
Oh, Kokichi, you a bad boy. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Click, click, click. Clack. There. Open says me. Wise words oh, from an unwise that man. that happened? I totally forgot. Did you know? So you're going to pretend you don't remember, huh? <laughs> Quit glaring at me like that. Of course I remember. Yeah, I did it. I killed Angie. What? Hmm. Wait, what? What did you just nah, say? Nah, he's lying. He's lying, he's lying, he's lying. Come on. Everybody calm down. He's I lying. He's lying. Pipe down. Come on, come on. into the room and then wham! Killed Angie. Nah. The culprit was me all along. What? What? What are you saying? Is this some kind of joke? Everybody, he's the ultimate liar. This is no, what he does. No he's doing the thing. I thought that if I confessed, I could atone for my sins. He's literally doing the thing that he is, which is lying. Helped. I feel so much better. Whew. <laughs> Wait, so Kokichi really is culprit? Yeah. No, he's lying. I think. Maybe? He is. He's lying. I'm certain of it. Yeah, Shuichi. See, this is why I no, like no. Shuichi. Definitely not a lie. I killed Angie. Shouldn't you guys believe the culprit when they confess? Then let me ask you, culprit. How did you lock the room? Huh? It's the same as opening it. You pick the door closed from the outside. Yeah, actually, how did the culprit leave the room if the front door was locked and the back door was locked as well? No, that doesn't make That's sense. That's very weird. Huh? What does it make sense? Can't you lock a door by picking it? You can, but how can you lock it again? Maybe, but that's not how the culprit locked the room. They used a different method. How? What different method? Yeah, Mumbles. Use your big boy voice and explain yourself. All right, maybe he will. Uh, Just give him a second. There were two doors to the classroom, and the one locked last was... The door the culprit locked last to seal the room was... The back door? That's it. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Sometimes it lags when you answer, door. so I'm kind of just like. That's how yes! they made this a locked room mystery. The back door had a sliding lock. Yes. With some gold how nut was it dust on it. From the outside. Some gold glitter. The culprit used a certain tool. The tool that the culprit used to lock the sliding lock from the outside was. Mind, mind, start. Oh, God, not this bullshit again. Bro, you gotta be taking a fat dump on my chest, dog. All right, there you go. Got it. Yeah. I don't like that one for some reason. I see it. It didn't make sense to me the very first time I did it, but shit, I don't know. There's something about that one. Not feeling the vibes. The gold leaf katana that was stabbed into Kaede's effigy. Effigy. It's called effigy. The Finally, somebody said it. The the knob of the sliding <laughs> lock to lock the door. So the gold leaf was on the sliding lock because... Because when the katana hit the lock, some of the gold leaf rubbed off on it. Effigy. This ain't the like gold leaf on that katana did peel rather easily. Hmm. That evidence rings a bell. Specifically, a school bell. <laughs> huh? Are you talking about a different school? What school was it? Now, now, that doesn't matter anymore. Let's not dwell on the past. Ooh, the gold leaf landed on the sliding lock when the katana touched it. So that means the culprit used the katana to move the sliding lock, right? Right. But wait, how did they move it with the katana? And from outside Angie's lab? I'm trying the to clue think, that everybody. might give us the answer is the layout of the area itself. Hmm. It was an odd setup, after all. The katana stabbed into the effigy. The effigies hung upside down. Angie didn't do that as part of the ritual? No. Nowhere in the Necronomicon did it say you had to hang the effigies. If it was not part of the ritual, then it must have been for a different purpose, right? A different purpose? What could that have been? The culprit somehow used the setup to lock the room. In that case, I need to know the reason behind every step of that setup. If I do that, the way the culprit locked the room should be clear. All right, I gotta think. Psych taxi, no! We're gonna do another one of these things. But why, Jay? 
Why are you so mad? Don't you like to drive? It's a nice yellow car. Wee! It looks like a banana, Jay. Peel me! I'm sorry, everybody. I still got Nagito withdrawal sometimes, but let's just get this over with. Jay, you have Nagito withdrawals? Do you really miss me that much? Bro, I'm in Danganronpa 5. I'm telling you right now, I'm talking to you from the future. I'm here. You're Nagiwaki, bro. What turned... What turned the handle of the sliding lock? What turned the handle of the sliding lock? Well, I'll tell you right now. If you just give me a chance... Hold on. Can you move that shit out of my face? What turned the, the effigy's hand, the katana's hilt? The katana's hilt. Ba-blam! Get your ass in the car. Get your stank ass in my car! Jay, do you want me to sing you a song while we're driving? Here I am. Rock you like a hurricane. Have you heard that one, Jay? Have you heard that song? You know when you're driving a long distance in a road like this? With all these cacti? Yeah, they call it cacti. Isn't it weird that they don't call it cactuses, but they call it cacti? Here I am. Thinking time. What? I've been thinking. Come on, dude. I got big brain energy. What was done to make the katana turn the lock? The sliding lock was tampered with. Katana was stabbed into effigy. Get your ass in the car right now! How was the effigy manipulated to make the katana affect the lock? We are about to find out right now, right after the Mono Cubs blast thinking time right into my face. How was the effigy manipulated to make the katana affect the lock? I'm about to tell you all right now. Just give me the options. Swinging it back and forth. Swinging it back and forth, right? Get your ass in the car. Miss. Bro, spinning it. Maybe spin with the shits, you know? Do a little twirl on that ass and then twerk on it. Come on, get in the car, get in the car. Get your ass in this car! The reason the culprit stuck the katana into the effigy was so that it would hit the sliding lock as the effigy spun. That's ridiculous. Effigy That is spun? goddamn ridiculous. Are you shitting That's me? That's right. Dude? If you spun the effigy, the rope it was hanging from would twist. Yo, is this Pokemon? Because that shit is so far-fetched right now. What the... That is... If you let it go, the rope would unwind, and the effigy would spin the other way. And of course, the katana would spin with it. You expect me to believe that? Bro, Bill and I would like to have a word with you. That doesn't even make sense. So the culprit used the katana's counterspin to push the lock into place? Shouldn't you have enough force in order to... Okay, you the know what? The culprit simply needed to Keep spin the effigy's rope and then swiftly leave. Right. This would cause the spinning katana to hit the sliding lock. But what are the chances of that happening? And thus was the back door of an empty classroom locked from the inside. Hey, Danganronpa, that's a... That's a, that's a big old stretch, you know what I'm saying? That's a stretch! I don't know how you can yes, unlock the thing with that. That's how Angie's like, lab was locked. By using right. the effigy with a katana. Hey, I'll believe it, I'll believe it. A man born from the heart of a sword traveling through the air to intercept us. What? Oh, but could it have moved the slide lock so easily? The sliding lock was pretty loose. A little push could move it. I mean, I guess I could believe that. As Do you all believe that? Let me, let me know. Let me know if you believe it. It would have slid into position. I mean, don't let me know because I'm not even looking at the comments of the Dong and Rumpus comment section anyway because I don't want to run into spoilers. But I mean, I, I just want to know in spirit. Do you believe that? Even if the culprit failed the first couple times, they could keep trying until it locked. True. True. Which is why the culprit chose to strike at nighttime as to avoid detection. Yes, since the student council prohibited anyone from walking around at nighttime. Are you saying it's the student council's fault? That's exactly what we're saying. I didn't say that. I did. In any Fight case, me. The culprit probably used the murder weapon for this trick. It had to have been the right length to hit the sliding lock from the effigy. The culprit couldn't find a blade long enough in my lab, so they settled for the katana. The other effigies were only hung up, so we think it was some kind of ceremony. That way, you wouldn't notice the lock trick. But, Kokichi did say earlier that he could have picked the lock closed. I don't want to completely ignore that possibility. But I can't imagine the culprit would have done all this just for a distraction. If that's the case, then Kokichi's confession earlier was actually... Seriously? You fucking lied again? Wow, what a twist, right, Talk everybody? Kokichi. He lied. Oh, man, 
guys got me. Okay, I'm not the culprit. You're telling the truth this time, right? Bro, Helen Keller could have heard those lies, bro. I want to say I'm lying. He was obviously but lying. I'm not. Helen Keller would have seen right through those lies. Why did you say you were the culprit? I wanted to lure the culprit out. If I claim to be the culprit, then the real culprit would agree as well. You get me? I get you. I and get if you. they pressured me to confess, then that would have looked mighty suspicious. Sheesh. Darn it. It didn't go my way because Shuichi butted in on my plan. You and your fucking lies. Go sit in the corner and play with yourself. I saw my dog. Though. Okay, I'll start right now. <laughs> All right. So, who's the asshole who set up this locked room mystery? That never works. We all ask every single trial, and the real culprit never confesses. Mew, I can't hold it up anymore. What's the matter? You going soft on me now? Who made the locked room mystery doesn't matter, since anyone could have done it. What should we talk about now? We must focus not on the locked room, but on who entered Angie's lab. Only one of the student council members or Kokichi could have gained entry. Therefore, the culprit must be among their number. That leaves us with four suspects. Sumugi, Gonta, Kibo, and Kokichi. Don't forget Himiko. She's also a part of the student council. Doesn't matter if she was besties with Angie, she's still a suspect. That contradicts what you said earlier, which I can prove using my recording function. It's fine. It's just a waste of time. Mm -hmm. A suspect? I... Never kill Angie! So, calling all suspects, what should we discuss next? I want to hear everyone's opinion. What would you say to get yourself off the suspect list? Why are you trying to lead the debate? You're a suspect, too. Silence, outsider! Only the suspect rangers are allowed <laughs> to speak. <laughs> the suspect rangers. Suspect rangers? I just call them the suspect rangers. I agree. You know, because they're so suspect. Those sus under suspicion should explain themselves thoroughly. We might catch them with their pants down. Anyway, Yo, I want to ask super the suspect horny, huh? rangers. She horny horny. What should we talk about? What should we say to get ourselves off the suspect list? I don't know. Let's start with alibis. Well, guys, I want to hear what you think. Um, that's sort of a difficult question, you know? Gonta not smart enough to know answer to that. Yes, it is difficult to formulate a logical response to that question. Not articulate with words, huh? Don't you guys want to prove your innocence? They don't trust you one bit, and I don't blame them. You're probably plotting... I... Huh? What? I want to know what happened to Angie, too, but... Can we talk about Tanko's case now and not just Angie? <laughs> I got you exactly where I wanted, Himiko. Uh, what do you mean? The two victims could have been killed by two separate murderers, you know. So we need to find the first blackened responsible for the first victim. Yeah. We gotta figure out who killed Angie. So whoever killed Tanko doesn't matter, right? Unless it was the same person. Until we solve Angie's they get case, a double execution. Tenko's they get that double stuff. Did you suggest that to waste our time? It's not meaningless! Himiko? Tenko's death was meaningless? How dare you! It wasn't meaningless. It was like a tier above meaningless, though. Poor Tenko! Just kidding. Tenko was cool. How could you do this to At her? the end. H Himiko. Himiko, stop it with your crappy lies. Lies? Everything you said is total BS. You didn't give two shits about Tenko when she was alive. But now you're like, oh no, poor Tenko, after she's dead. <laughs> Come on, really? Bro, Kokichi really is all over Kokichi, this case. enough! No, it's okay. It's no surprise he'd think that. I know I ignored Tenko before. That's why I'm so upset now. I should have faced Tenko. Work things out with her while she was still alive. And now, it's too late. I can't complain to her or thank her. It's too late. Yeah, seriously. It's way too late to realize that now.
Our only option is to face her death head on. <laughs> face her death? Himiko, I understand what you're going through. So I'm gonna help you out. Let's work together to find the truth. I'm not gonna let anyone say her death didn't matter. K Kaito. All right. I'll put a silencing curse on whoever calls Tanko's death meaningless. All right, do it. Name I want to see you try. This girl is all talk. Curse. I am. Um, suppose being dead would silence someone pretty good. <laughs> Listen up. All you guys are going to help out too. Abandoning someone who died and only thinking about your own survival. That's just as bad as a hit and run. I won't forgive something so messed up. Tenko was our friend. Going to want to know why she died too. I already told you that's so unnecessary. We're getting sidetracked here. No, even if it was a different culprit, we need to know how Tenko died. If we don't find out who killed her, we won't be able to work together. Not now, not ever. Even if this trial isn't for her, in order for us to survive, we need to get to the bottom of Tenko's death. Not just to survive this trial, but so we can keep going and live on! Kaito. Finally, you noticed. Jeez, you're so slow. Kaito sounds like he reads these motivational speeches off the back of a cereal box. Like huh? off the back of a Did Wheaties. Did you want us to notice? Don't listen to his crap. We haven't decided whether there were two different culprits yet. I still think Let it's one. Let us talk about Tenko's case then. Perhaps that will provide us a clue. I agree. Yeah, maybe. They're not wrong, but I don't mind going over Tenko's case. But that was an abrupt change of topic. Was that intentional? So what do we talk about first? For now, let's see if we can narrow down the list of suspects. Ten Crouch probably got killed during the seance, so Ten everyone crouch. there's suspicious. <laughs> Jesus, Mew. The people who attended the seance. The people who attended the seance were Kori Kyo, Shuichi, Himiko, Kokichi. Yeah. That's it. I had to hesitate. I was like, yeah, was it, it was them? Me, yep. Kyo, Himiko, and Kokichi. So those four are the culprits. Oh, Himiko still culprit? Well, that's probably just a coinky dink. The most suspicious out of the four is really Kyo. He suggested the whole seance idea. I mean, that's who I'm pointing my finger at, but since everybody's doing it, that means it can't possibly be right, right? True. Is that I right? I have suggested it. Am I right or am I wrong? I explained the procedure beforehand, yes. If we all knew of it before the murder, then we are all equally suspicious. Yeah. Well, I suppose, but... I just realized Angie's little death card addition, has little angel wings and a halo on top of her in, in red. Either. Look. I was not the one who selected the room we performed <laughs> it in. It was Himiko. I never noticed it. Everybody's trying to blame Himiko. I almost feel bad for her. Almost. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Um, the middle room. The middle room's always the best for stuff like this. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. I would have oh, chose the middle room. I'm not right. the culprit. Middle room just sounds right. Also, because it's right in the middle. Should not limit Don't gotta worry about anything else. To only those who participated in the seance. The empty room had a point of entry from outside. You see. A point of entry from outside. He must be referring to. A point of entry from outside. Ba bam. There. Okay, I was making sure I got it because it kind of just zoomed in a little bit, but it didn't say yeah. Yup. Oh floor, shit. Whoops. Right? Oh, did I unplug my mic? Uh-oh. Hope not. If you guys can't hear me, this is going to be super awkward. Yes, there's a crawl space under the floor a person can move through. There was also a hole that connected it to the neighboring room. Mm -hmm. If the culprit used the hole, they could have entered and exited the seance room. If we consider that possibility, then there is another suspect. Accomplice? Another suspect? Ooh. <laughs> it's appearing before me. Love his look. <laughs> oh, I can see it clearly. 
the true identity of Tenko's killer. Oh, okay. Does he really know? Or is he just feeling something? He felt something that made his nipples hard. I know it did. Cage child, loose floorboard, Kibo's flashlight function. The seance. Hmm. Like Maybe it is Kibo's flashlight floor. function? It's gotta be, huh? Black during the seance. Oh, yeah, Kibo's flashlight function. Okay, this might be it. Because it wasn't dark under the floor. You see. Oh, right? Had a oh, what? With the room as dark as it was, one would need a light, no? Or are you denying my entire theory? Either way, your evidence is lacking. A hole that was in the corner of the room, the seance was held in. There is space under the floor, so you can see what was dropped there. Okay, maybe that's it. Maybe I shoot that at Corey Keo's statement. There, right here, right here, right here. Put that right there. Let's freaking go! That's wrong! Dang! God damn! Okay, that woke me up. That woke your boy up. The culprit could have used a life. Oh, the that court. woke your boy up! Come on. And I was getting too chill. There was a hole in the corner of the room. I was getting too chill, but your boy's bet. If a light were used, it would have leaked through, and we would have seen it. Uh huh. Yup. You, you would have seen like a little bit of light as somebody was walking by, but it was black. pitch black. So a light was not shined under the floor, which means you cannot claim I am the culprit. Jeez, here I thought this would be the case where the murder could only be done by a robot. You have accused me of being the culprit more than once now simply because I am a robot. My status as a robot does not mean I am capable of performing superhuman feats. My vision is somewhat poor, and I only possess average physical strength and intelligence. All right, all right, you made your point. God, now I feel sort of bad for you. I neither want nor need your pity. What was that? Enough with the flashlight! It's oh. way too bright! I was like, what just happened? It Did my game glitch? To move around under the floor in that pitch black darkness. Maybe the floor and the hole have nothing to do with this case. Then why was floorboard under Tanko lined up funny? Maybe Cory Kent and Keo knew exactly so where to place the whole Tanko area under floor. so he could kill Tanko while everybody's doing the ritual and singing that bullshit ass song? Ooh, nice observation, Gonta. Are you finally getting used to the class trials? Uh huh. Thank you. <laughs> Don't say it like that. You're better off not being used to this kind of stuff. Maybe they marked Tenko with glowing paint and looked for that. That'd let the culprit find her. Then they could stab her through the floorboards. Boy, that sounds really familiar too. But I'm just gonna ignore it. Her corpse didn't have any trace of glowing paint though. Oh, yeah. So then why was that floorboard loose? The loose floorboard was the one under Tenko, right? If the culprit used it while she was still alive, she'd totally notice. Who fucking cares? Fussing over that won't get us closer to the culprit! We shouldn't dismiss this line of inquiry, however. Instead of butting our heads against this, how about we concentrate on another issue? What's that? What other issue? Perhaps first, we should figure out how and when exactly Tenko was killed. When we heard that loud thump while we were singing the song. When? So not it's gotta during be. seance? Tanko was in the metal cage for the whole seance, wasn't she? How could someone have gotten to her there? Maybe the culprit killed her before she went under the metal cage. No. That's not possible. She was alive. She was alive at that point. Yeah, she was talking. She wouldn't stop talking. This is the point of no return, Tanko. After this point, you mustn't speak. The next time you open your mouth, it will be Angie speaking through you. Understood. I will not say a word until the seance is over. Maybe it was a recording? Yes. Maybe it was she an was imposter? <gasps> alive when the Maybe it began. was a recording. No, it can be. Because if Kibo could record it, then that means Tanko would have had to have said that before, but I don't remember her saying that ever in this game. That was right before we blew out the candles. Imagine though if Kibo did do that. Back. What if Kibo did do it? The floorboard was removed at that point, so it's likely she was already dead then. What if Kibo did do it? His recording function. So she was killed when the room was dark? But she was inside Cage, right? Going to think it unpossible, unpossible. to kill her then. <laughs> 
Then she wasn't killed when the room was dark. It was a different time. She was killed before different it went dark? Time. How the fuck should I know? You figure it out, shitheads. Huh? Since Gonta said it was impossible, Maybe Kibo did kill Tenko. an alternate theory. Now hurry up and think! If you want to make my golden brain tingle, start circle jerking your limp dick brains! Okay, I'm starting to think it's Kibo now that killed Tenko. But then if there's two murderers, does that mean Kibo gets away with that murder? Marker stone, when iron Tenko cage, killed, white sheet, dog statue. It wasn't during the seance. Hold on, let's see white sheet. The sheet was over the iron cage during the seance. It's very thick and cannot be seen through. There's blood on the back around the middle of the sheet, but there's no hole in the fabric. Keel was the one who placed the sheet over the cage and removed it off the cage. Okay. It could not have been done at any other time. Let's keep that there. She was under the cage the whole time. Wait, wait, is this it? Oh! Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What about the cage was lifted? What about the moment the cage was lifted? Like that. When cage lifted, culprit stabbed Tanko real fast. Nah. So fast. Unpossible, no dude. Saw. Unpossible. Oh, Yo, my. what's happening to her? So Yo, chill. The cage. This is rated G. Uh, it was me. That cage was heavy, though. <laughs> Ew. Then Mew, are you? Is the culprit? No. There's no did it down. Ew. <laughs> Freaking Mew. Tenko not being killed during the seance? That might not be impossible, but there's no evidence for it. When Tenko got killed. Okay, I think it's White She. I gotta it shoot it at Corey Tenjin Kyo's statement. That's gonna come up pretty soon. It could not have been done at any other time. Let me see. Right here, right here, right here. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Oh, damn. I thought that was it for sure. Okay, never mind. Damn. damn. Maybe it's something when else? Got killed, Dog statue, marker stone. What's marker stone? The stone that was by Tango's body. During the sands, Tango had been crouched over in the iron cage with her forehead on this stone. Wasn't during the huh. seance. Okay. It could not have been done at Let's keep white time. sheet. What about moment cage was lifted? Right here. Thank! That's wrong! Thank! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! No, Whew. it wasn't possible to kill her the moment the cage was lifted. Because the inside of the white cloth had Tenko's blood on it. Yeah. That cloth was removed before the cage was lifted. Mm -hmm. If Tenko was stabbed then, there wouldn't be blood on the cloth. What? But how could my golden brain be wrong when it felt so, so right? I don't know. You're just weird. The you only got weird possibility energy. is that Tenko was killed during the seance. I got your remodel right okay. here. All right, Mew. You want to go? You want to freaking go? I've been waiting for this. I'm ready. No. I'm locked and loaded. Still wrong to think that Tenko was killed during the seance. What? I'm going to prove it right now. My golden brain is going to go all out. All right. Let's get it, Mew. Let's do it. You, me, the rebuttal showdown, the truth. Nothing but the truth, so help me, God. Let's go. Marker stone, loose floorboard, iron cage, Tenko sickle under the floor. The okay, slice this up. When the sheet was and lifted. here you go. That was the a little slice of the pizza pie. To stop the fuck out and of Tenko the They stuck the thin blade through the gaps of the Show cage. Up. And that clean white sheet got stained blood huh? red. I actually like this one but better. the weapon was a sickle. Only like the this rebuttal showdown, I like it gaps. when you can like spin the sword around. I like that. The blade's all you need. Whoops, whoops, whoops. If you stick the blade through a gap in the cage, it'd be long enough to reach Tenko. Sitting in there with her neck all exposed. Is that it? She wasn't oh, that shit. far. It'd be long enough to reach Tenko. Sitting in there with okay, her neck like all this? exposed. Got it. Oh, Give me some. Your words. Didn't even have to switch the bullet. We kept that at marker stone the whole time. I didn't even read the other ones. You know we're about that life. Wait just a minute. Tenko wasn't sitting down inside the cage. She was crouched down. She was like a praying motion. Her forehead against the marker stone. And the cage itself was about three feet tall. The sickle's blade was... I would feel so claustrophobic in that. While she was in that position. Probably have trouble breathing. Even though there's so many holes to breathe, I'd be like... <laughs> I messed up again? How could this happen? 
No worries, Mew. Everyone already knows you're an embarrassment to the human race. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Ah! Oh, how embarrassing! If Shuichi is right, then it's impossible for Tenko to have been killed through the cage. She so couldn't have been killed the during the seance since she was in the cage, right? If she was killed then, the cloth over the cage would have been pierced. Not during the seance or from below the floor. Then it's impossible, isn't it? Yeah, for a living person. Huh? <laughs> what if Angie's spirit <laughs> killed Tenko? <laughs> what are you talking about? Th that's not possible. We don't know that. Some things are impossible for a human, but not for a spirit. Don't say stupid stuff like that. S screw spirits. I don't think spirits like it when you Stop talk bad to spirits. Now. Oh, thing stopped. I'm back, everybody. I'm back. Angie's don't miss me too much. Spirit killed Tenko? But why? Kimiko? Because fuck it, that's why. Why would Angie's spirit kill Tenko? What if Tenko killed Angie, and then Angie's spirit came back for revenge? Like I said, that's impossible! Spirits can't be culprits! But what if they can, though? Then explain how the culprit killed Tenko under these impossible circumstances. Well, uh... See? You can't explain, can you? Only a spirit could have done that! Wait! I know! What if the culprit was hiding inside the cage? Boy! If they were in there, they could have stabbed Tenko during the seance. No. If there was someone else in the cage, we would have noticed. I agree with Kaito. The culprit could have been inside the cage. You do? Nonsense. There the was cage no was still space small, in the though. cage for the culprit to hide. Maybe the culprit wouldn't need to hide in the first place. What? Also... The culprit could have killed her in the cage at any time. I think you know what I'm getting at, right? The they she's referring to. The they she's referring to. Wait, what was the question? Who could have killed Tango from inside the cage? Cory Kenji Kyo? Please? No? Wrong. Who could have killed Tango inside the cage at any time? I don't get you. You're really narrow-minded for a detective. I was wrong! Everyone's staring at me! I screwed up! They think I'm a fraud! Aren't you a detective in training? Okay, um... Is it the Monocubs? No, I can't choose that. Yes, Mo? Yep. Alright. That's what she was getting at. I, I picked up what Maki she put down. referring to Tenko herself. What did you say? Are you saying Tenko is the culprit? She committed suicide. No freaking way. S suicide? If she committed suicide, it would explain a lot of things we couldn't figure out. She volunteered to be in the cage and then stabbed herself during the seance. But it why? No matter how dark the room was. But the sickle she was stabbed with was under the floor, right? Yeah, and it was nowhere near her. If Tenko had stabbed herself, wouldn't the sickle still be inside the cage? That actually makes no sense. Uh, oh my god. Mew actually said something smart. <laughs> And I thought Maki was like the smartest person here. Perhaps that explains why. Just because of the way she acts. Remote. You know how she acts like in those games when there's a character that looks like they can't be bothered with other dumbasses in the game, so they kind of just stay quiet. But when they talk, you know that they're just saying the truth. That's how I feel like Maki is. But Maki is kind of not making After sense here. After stabbing herself with the sickle, she threw it underneath the floor. Yeah, but it was so far so away from her body, though. So she took off the floorboard though. to get rid of the sickle. Yes. That makes sense to Gonta. What? Well, it doesn't make sense to me. Me too, Himiko. There's no reason for Tenko to commit suicide. Maybe I wasn't too far off with the theory I had earlier. You know, about Tenko killing Angie. Yeah? Because Tenko and Angie were fighting for your attention, right? Hey, Angie! When did you brainwash Himiko? Tenko's pent-up frustration led her to commit such an atrocity. Her conscience couldn't handle it anymore. So she decided to end her own life. What? But if she was going to kill herself, why do it during the seance? She wanted to hide the truth of her suicide. Really? Why? There could only be one reason to hide it in a killing game, right? It's to take us down with her. Take us down? 
She wanted us to pick the wrong answer during the class trial. So she could bring us all down. She wanted us to die with her. But it doesn't matter who killed her, right? It just matters who killed Angie. Okay, well, she probably just wanted Himiko to die with her. But still. But what are you saying? Tanko wasn't like that. He told me. Keep your chin up and live life facing forward. Survive with me and everyone else. Yeah, exactly. She had the right what attitude. That was just a lie. Like she just wanted to survive. I think somebody clapped her. A lie? Wait, we should believe Tenko's last words. The true terror of class trials is that you shouldn't believe everything said. Himiko, you said that Tenko would never do anything like that. But how can you be so sure? Did you guys actually know each other? People keep all sorts of secrets. Like Maki. She hid the fact that she's a cold-blooded killer. Is it wise of us to trust other people wholeheartedly in this kind of situation? Jeez, you're such a naive dude. Naive? We're all just people, you know? Of course we're gonna have some secrets. What matters is whether there's any malice behind them. People can lie about how malicious their hidden secrets really are. Well, duh. It's impossible to know for sure what others are thinking. That's why it all comes down to whether or not you believe in yourself. If you get betrayed, it's not their fault. It's your fault for believing in them. That's why I believed in Maki Roll, because I wanted to believe in her. Just because you're acting all cool doesn't mean you get to skip training. Hey, come on. Don't you think you're being a little too strict? Well, we come from different backgrounds. So for now, let's agree to disagree. No one's ever called me naive before. And from Kaito? Seriously? Whether or not I believe, my heart can't reach Tinko anymore. But I want to believe in her. She wouldn't commit suicide. She wouldn't try to take us down. I agree with that. That's what I want to believe. I believe that too. Me too. And I never agree Go with Himiko. But I agree Tenko with her there. But if Tinko did commit suicide, that would answer all of our questions. If you insist we believe in Tenko, then provide a reason to do so. I'm assuming that Shuichi's gonna have to be the guy. A proper reason. Alright, I'll give you a reason. Is there a reason? Yes, there is. Will you trust me, Maki? If it turns out I'm wrong, you can blame me all you like. But for now, I need you to trust in my detective work. I don't believe Tenko would kill herself because of what she said. Okay, everyone. I'll see you guys after the seance. Yeah, she did say that, didn't she? She wanted to see us after the seance, grab something from the dining hall, maybe go get a good workout in. Just because we don't know how she was killed doesn't mean that it was a suicide. We shouldn't be satisfied with that. And if we keep thinking, we'll find the truth. And that means we have to believe in Tango. I'll make them all believe. All right, let's do it. I'm ready, Shuichi. If you want me to believe, buddy, I'm gonna believe, all right? So the live version of this is Tenko died instantly. So we're supposed to say that Tenko didn't have last moments, like this. There you go. Sometimes I forget that we need to bullshit in order to get the real shit. Bullshit before you get the real shit. sickle under the floor because she died instantly. Yeah, she died instantly. Her death might not have been instant, but she couldn't have gone far before she bled out. Yeah, so Maki knows he's bullshit. I'm certain of it. My investigation determined that she died instantly. What's your opinion, Maki? I'd like to hear from someone who specializes in murder. Maki. You're right. I completely forgot about that important <laughs> detail. Tenko died instantly. What? As an assassin, I specialize in killing my targets swiftly. I have no doubt that Tenko was killed immediately. <laughs> Words of a true That was a different killer. knee -hee -hee. Pretty sure we can believe Different from all the other said. knee -hee You know, that knee -hee said, I swear I'm different from all the other knee -hee How could you forget that, Maki Roll? You better apologize to Shuichi. Excuse me? It's okay, Kaito, really. No apology necessary. Anyway, Tenko died so suddenly that she couldn't have gotten rid of the sickle. Knowing that, 
the theory that she killed herself just doesn't fit, correct? Just like I thought. Tenko wouldn't commit suicide. Thank goodness, Himiko. Which means someone definitely killed Tenko during the seance. Yep. Her suicide was considered because we could not determine how she was killed. No! There must have been a way! We're gonna figure it out! It actually makes a lot of sense that somebody killed her from underneath the floorboard because her cause of death was a slash to the back of the neck. Imagine a sickle coming from underneath the floorboard and then cutting somebody like that. You would cut the back of their neck, right? Not the front because the sharp part is on the end of a curved sickle. So they would have brought it up and then once they brought it up, it would have been on the back of the neck and that's how they cut Tanko's neck and then that's Did how she died. Participants witness anything so it makes sense that somebody brought the weapon from seance? underneath the floorboard. If you know something, please speak up. It could be the key to solving this mystery. Not a bad idea. We should remember what happened at the seance. Let me try to remember. I'm sure there's something. I need some kind of clue that will help me solve this mystery. The thunk. Come on, the big old thunk. You know, when you're singing, you're just like, Hi, I, I, and then you hear the thunk. Cross teeth under the floor. Sound the during seance. During the seance. That's got to be it. There is something that bothers me. Sound during exactly. seance has got to be fit. it. The ritual was perfect. How utterly strange. What about the sound, dude? I think about it. While we were all singing the song. Yeah, Himiko. Let us know. Let us know. Something fall. Yeah, here you go. Whoa! I agree. You got me in the first half. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It looked like it missed, right? Nah, I never miss. All hits. Himiko, you think that something fell because of that sound you heard, right? Yeah, see? At last, at last, your bottom by dawn. Yep, see, bang. I was just trying to get my song on. I was just trying to get my long song on, boy. It sounded like something heavy fell down and hit the floor really hard. Like really hard. It could have fallen down. Like Viagra hard. It was just like, the dunk. There wasn't anything on the ceiling that could have fallen down, right? Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? I thought something fell, but the sound was pretty loud. It did I wonder what that like sound was though. Hit the floorboards. Hmm, a loud sound, like something hit the floorboards. Maybe that sound had something to do with the other thing that happened in the dark. What was the other thing that happened in the dark? Oh, the other thing that happened in the dark. What are you talking about? Wait, is it sound during seance? Dog statue? Maybe the statue on top of the cage made that sound? Aw, oh, man. Okay, that's not it. Sorry, sorry. Okay, bloody duct tape? No, that ain't it. What is it? Hold on. I'm, I'm confused right now. Loose floorboard? This is it. <gasps> yes. All right, cool. <laughs> I, the floorboard I actually guessed on that one. Do with that, sound. that floorboard came loose at some point during the seance, right? Correct. Could the floorboard have made such a loud sound, though? No. It was the sound of an intense impact. If the impact was that intense, then it could have loosened the floorboard. That is true. There would have had to be a strong impact to make that sound. But what was it? What could it possibly be? All right, then. Let's go with that. We all gotta put our heads together now. Is it the sound of Tenko's head hitting the cage? Because there was blood at the bottom of the cage, right? Which meant that when she was in this position, after she got hit, maybe she stood up real quick and bonked her head on the thing? I don't so know. So what made the floorboard come loose? Oh, let's see. Judging from the sound, there Try must blood have been underneath the floor. Is that it? Someone who participated in the seance. Maybe that person tore off the floorboard. Hmm. That wouldn't make such a loud crashing sound. Maybe the wooden statue fell over. That's what I was thinking. But that statue was still on top of the cage. Yeah. Culprit hide under floor. Then stood up with such might. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. A small amount of blood that was on the ground under the floor of the room the sands was held in. It was quite far from where Tanko's blood was dripping. Maybe that was it? Nope. Okay, that wasn't it. Dang it. Then stood up with Let's cross piece under the floor again. 
One of the cross pieces that support the loose floorboard in the room the seance was held in. Only the portion that supports the floorboard was cut off. It wasn't broken naturally. It looks like someone had purposely cut it. Have stomped through the floorboard. Stomped through the floorboard. It's not that. It is that. I agree. Wow. You know what? I'm glad that we got consent. Thank you for the consent, Kokichi. Jesus, bro. Kokichi is right. The floorboard came loose because someone stomped on it. That took me long. The floorboards fit perfect. Going to make sure first time we go to empty room. When we first saw the room, yes. But when I looked again during the investigation, one of the cross pieces supporting the floorboards was cut off. And now is the sound of the thump. I concluded that it must have been done deliberately. Someone? You mean the culprit, right? Why'd they do that? What did the culprit stand to gain by cutting the cross piece? What did they stand to gain? That's the question. To solve this case, I'll need to think carefully about the cross piece and floorboard. Tango's body was at one end of the loose floorboard. And the cross piece that had been cut was on the other end of the floorboard. The unsupported part was outside the cage, so it could have been stomped on. Only one of the cross pieces was cut. The other two were intact. One of them was right under Tenko, and the other was in the center, right about where the edge of the cage was. What was the culprit attempting to achieve by stomping on the floorboard? Think! Come on, think! Hangman's Gambit. Okay, let's see. S? Okay, S. A? No. E? Say? Sue? No, no, it wasn't Sue. Sesame? No? Okay. Seesaw! Seesaw! Okay, A. W. Seesaw what? Is it effect? Seesaw effect. I can't believe I got that. Seesaw effect. Okay, so they cut it. The thing would have flipped, and then what? The weight of uh, the cage would have crushed That's Tenko. Right. The floor is that what they were trying to do? Used as a seesaw. Yeah, a seesaw. So they cut the it. Piece, the floorboard the goes floor like floor this, and then off. Tenko dies like that. The other two cross pieces holding up that board were close to the cage, meaning if you were to apply force to the end of the floorboard with no cross piece. Oh. The next cross piece would act as a fulcrum to turn the floorboard into a lever. No freaking way. A lever capable of lifting up Tenko's entire body. So that's how she bonked her head at the top of the cage? But I thought she had like her a cut on her neck. Lift it up? Yeah, that sounds like a seesaw, all right. But why bother lifting Tenko's body? Even then, Tenko would have made a sound like, ow, you know? It couldn't have killed Tenko like that. Unless they use the sickle. That's exactly it. Using the seesaw trick, it was possible to kill Tenko with a sickle. Huh? In order for the culprit to kill Tenko with a seesaw trick. This is ridiculous. Hold on, this is so ridiculous. I'm trying to think of everything right now, and I'm like, wow. Is the most important factor. It's unbelievable. The floorboard seesaw, the cage, and the blood on the white fabric. What conclusions can I draw from this? There's only one place the sickle could have been that is consistent with the evidence. Where was the sickle when Tenko was killed? Underneath the floorboard. Right? Nope. Okay. Well, I, I lost. I was wrong! Damn it! I lost all my hearts! No, I didn't lose all my hearts. Between the victim and the floorboard. Okay, I lost. Okay, let's just pretend that didn't happen, all right? Next to the cage. That's what it was. It wasn't that? Yo, I am a pinche puta puta pinche. It was on top of the cage. Come on now. That's Stop it. playing with me. On top of the cage. That makes no sense, too. This trial is ridiculous, was to be honest. The top of the iron cage with the blade facing down. The reason we <gasps> didn't see it was because of the fabric covering the cage. What? No way. Also... The wooden statue kept the blade in place. So Cory Kenshin Kyo was the it's killer? It's that the sickle's handle was thick, which made the statue wobble. Because who the hell put the sickle inside of the dog statue? But the statue's weight kept it from falling over. What the f- Once everything was in place, 
If you this step far enough on the seesaw. This is ridiculous. Look at that. Would have what shot is that? And hit the blade on the top of the cage. Oh, poor Tanko, man. What is this? Oh, she come was on. Meaning the sickle's blade would have connected with her neck. Jesus! The six-inch sickle blade wasn't long enough to stab Tenko in a crouched position. But with the floorboard acting as a seesaw, it could compensate for the blade's length. Dude jumped on bringing that the thing like a the trampoline, sickle, bro. Rather than bringing the sickle to the victim. That's definitely an unorthodox idea. So it had to have been Cory Kenji. It's crazy, but it would explain how Tenko got stabbed while she was in the cage. So the sound we heard was the culprit stomping on the floorboard. And then after Cory Keo killed her, he took out the sickle, placed it underneath the open hole in the floorboard where he was standing, and then he kept singing. Bro, this man's a savage, bro. Come loose. This dude's a savage. Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned seesaw homicide. Seesaw homicide. Yeah, those what? happen all the time. What the hell's a seesaw homicide? <laughs> That's fucking crazy! <laughs> the craziness is what really makes the killing game fun, you know? You can't get away like, with murder the normal way. So they gotta think Wait, what the hell is that? Back. Kudos, culprit. You did a great job keeping me entertained. Definitely outside the box. Indeed. Well played, Himiko. Yeah? <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? The one behind the seesaw homicide. How? Why her? She's so small. How would she be able to jump on the floorboard and just make Tanko just go boink into the thing? Come on! Because she's the only one capable of carrying out this plan. See this face again? Please. The only one? Please. Why is that? Because this seesaw homicide required its location to be prepared beforehand. But weren't you the one who prepared the location? By cutting the cross piece beneath the floorboard, you mean? Then the culprit would need to lure their victim into the prepared room. That is why you chose that room for the seance. Is it not, Himiko? I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Um, the middle room. The middle room's always best for stuff like this. Oh yeah! Himiko was the one who chose the site for the seance! She likely found out about my plans for the seance somehow. You were quite vocal about the seance, Kyo. You even had instructions for it in your lab. Our culprit, Himiko, prepared her seesaw trap ahead of time. Then she waited for me to host the seance and suggested the middle room. There's no way. She led us all into holding the She's seance. She's not even right that big in real life. It. She looked like a grown woman with this little silhouette of her, but she is nowhere near that big in real life. There's no way she could have jumped on the seesaw and moved Tenko's body weight. There's no way. We would have heard her moving throughout she the room. Killed Tenko. You know, like All little pitter patters. That's a lie, right? The Himiko did such a thing? Ah, come on. In did she? End, Himiko, who Tenko cherished and loved, tragically killed her. Wait! We don't know that, right? He's wrong, right, Himiko? Himiko would never kill Tenko, right? Did she? Tenko? I killed Tenko? Did she? Himiko? What's wrong, Himiko? It is true that using the middle room was Himiko's idea. But does that really mean that Himiko really killed Tenko? Would something like that really happen? Something so cruel? Nah, never. Never in a million years. All right, so we are in an intermission. Everyone seems to think that Himiko is the one that killed Tenko. I'm calling bullshit on that. I don't think that she had anything to do with that, but we are going to conclude the next trial in the next video. Be on the lookout for that episode because that's coming real soon. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell our friends today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!